Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. Here with us today we have a Samsung Galaxy Tab A8 and this is a device that does indeed have the Google Account Lock enabled because as we can see here as we're going through the initial setup steps we get to the screen that tells us that the device was reset and to continue we have to either verify the previous screen pin lock that was used or if we tap on use my Google account instead, it'll pull up the secondary option where we can also sign in with a previous Google account that was on the device in order to be able to get through the rest of the setup steps. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information after having done a factory reset, or because they purchased the device used from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the device was locked. And in that case, of course, the buyer wasn't going to have any of the previous user's login information. And unfortunately, the seller in those cases has usually long since disappeared, since it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But we're making this video here to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to get the lock removed from this exact model without having to have the previous user's login info. It's something that we do directly to the device while it's plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection. And we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet to perform the exact same procedure that we just did here with this one. So actually, before starting the video, we had already done 99% of the work necessary to remove the lock. We just left it in place right before the last step so that you guys could all see that the device was indeed locked so that you know that this is actually real, that we can really perform the service. We're not trying to sign into our own accounts or pull any other kind of trickery here. So the last step of the process is just to restart the device, which you just saw me there do while the device was on the lock screen. And now after it restarts, we should be able to see that we can indeed get all the way through the setup steps without running into that Google lock screen. All right, so we are all fully rebooted here. We're gonna go ahead and hit that blue start button and begin going through everything step by step. So we have to read and agree to Samsung's terms and conditions first. Then there's other permissions to agree to. And then it'll ask us about Wi-Fi, which we actually don't need. So I'm just going to turn that off and then hit skip. It's going to ask us about copying apps and data, which we don't need to do. We have to read and agree to all of the Google services. We don't need a screen lock, so we're just gonna skip that step also. We don't need a Samsung account, so we'll say no to that also. And there we go. It says we are all set up, so when we hit finish, Yep, there we go. We've got the home screen loading up. We have full access to all of the apps and settings and features, and it is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, I'm going to pop into the settings real quick just to show you exactly what we are working with. So when we go down to About Tablet in the settings, we can indeed see that we have a Galaxy Tab A8, and then that model number there, the SMX200. 
that is the sp that's the model number of this specific device that we are working with here. So if you have one of these Tab A8s from Samsung with the Google Lock enabled and need help getting it removed, we would love to assist you with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and we'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of our details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for thousands of models of mobile devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. While you're here, um, Hitting that subscribe button will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing here with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.